This is the first video of section 6 on deploying to Heroku. Heroku is a cloud application platform allowing us to easily deploy our application to the web and scale it according to our needs. Heroku allows us to focus on writing code instead of worrying about server infrastructure. In this video we're going to add a monitoring tool to keep track of any errors that might occur in the application. We'll use Bugsnag for tracking errors in our application. The Bugsnag notifier for JavaScript gives you instant notification of errors and exceptions in your website's JavaScript code. We can then use this information to fix any issues that might arise when users use our application. You'll obviously need to create a Bugsnag account, but don't worry, that's completely free. When that's done, come back to the video and we'll get started by integrating it into our project. Since AngularJS has some custom errors that don't show up automatically in Bugsnag, we'll create an error handler for those errors too. Okay, first let's create a project in Bugsnag, making sure to select AngularJS. When a project's created, you'll end up on this page that shows you how to integrate it into the application. Copy the script tag and paste it in our HTML template inside the head element. And afterwards, we'll add the AngularJS exception handler to the code that you can also find in the Integrate Your Application page. Let's go ahead and add this to our app.js file. Next, let's force an error in our application by injecting a dependency that doesn't exist. Let's use foo. Refresh the application to make sure the error is triggered, and then go to the Bugsnag dashboard and refresh to see the error. This way we can easily debug our application if users experience any errors in our app. Make sure to also remove the foo injection from the app to avoid any future errors. Okay, this was a super quick video on using Bugsnag to track errors. The next video will be a little longer, in which we'll create a production build that uses minified assets.